Hi guys, welcome to the channel. General reading for my friends Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for the energies of the third week of May 2020. Every information in the box below. As always, if you resonate with the messages, leave a comment, like, share and subscribe. Thank you for the support. If you don't resonate with these messages, they are probably meant for someone else. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't and check the links of the previous videos on the channel. Maybe there is something there for you. And now guys, let's find out together the main theme of this reading for you, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, third week of May 2020. Let's see. Here we go. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. So maybe this is indeed appropriate to some of you at least. Communication coming in, maybe something that um, some of you are waiting on for quite some time. It's like <laughs> the patience that uh, some of you were called to channel may have uh, the chance to be repaid. And so let's see what the tarot has to say for you guys about this energy. Maybe also some kind of realization, why not? That can be a source of help for those of you that were seeking it. Six of Wands to start our reading. Success, the Magician, Seven of Cups, Ace of Cups, look at this, Knight of Cups, Six of Swords, King of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, King of Cups, quite a spread for you guys, I will guide you through it as always, feel free to pick your side, if you feel that the reading is going to resonate in the reverse, first row of cards the person that you are dealing with it's like the feeling it's like um after a moment of confusion of indecision also a little bit of waiting involved with this Seven of Cups energy. It's like this person have real, has realized that uh, they were perfectly able to make the appropriate choice for their own satisfaction. Snapping away from these um, Seven of Cups energy and channeling this beautiful combination to me six of wands the magician working with all the tools that um, they had but they also still have at uh, their disposal in order to make the best out of the circumstances that they were called to um, be a part of and channeling the pursuit of, of a, a successful outcome for them. There is uh, some kind of passion involved in this decision because the Seven of Cups can be, of course, an energy that can um, involve uh, a lot of um, scenarios. But it's like uh, this person um, was able to uh, choose the more meaningful from all of them and working with the aces that the magician has at his disposal they 
this person or those that are vibing in these energies were able to uh, basically call for themselves the chance to be successful. I also love in this spread that we get two beautiful aces and considering that the magician has the chance to work with the four aces on it on his table basically uh, this is very auspicious uh, and so let's keep th this in mind second row of energies usually to me is you watching fifth card of the reading the art of the reading in your case air signs beautiful knight of cups paired with the even more uh, brightest ace of cups there is definitely love feelings and um, a sense of um, home i want to say in these um, in this flow of energies um, it's like those of you that are perfectly comfortable with your inner feelings possibly also towards um, this other individual you have mastered the the love that is involved in this connection you are willing to extend a meaningful offer to this person because you see the chance to move things forward in a um, smooth way and considering that the six of swords is a very quiet energy it's like this approach that uh, the feeling that i'm getting is all about you guys it's um it's a calm way of doing things which is very uh reassuring i want to say it can give a sense of um support um compassion understanding this is very beautiful to uh, to feel because um these are very um caring energy that i feel can help um those that may find themselves involved in a seven of cups energy so it's like you have um completely understood the uh, potential of the connection um, there is a sense of um pure um love and feelings that can be shared and i feel that uh, this is um reciprocal because in the mythical meeting of the energies we get um regardless that we have two kings we get matching uh, vibrations a king of swords and a king of cups with the beautiful beautiful ace of pentacles in the middle um, the feeling that I'm getting here is that the two of you involved in this um, in this connection can vibe at the same frequency level. One of you can be <laughs> more in touch with the um, feelings and uh, emotional side of themselves king of cups regardless that the king of swords is um, an air energy that uh, you can be the feeling that I'm getting air signs is that um, you are linked to the king of cups energy the other person channeling the magician in front of the uh, cloud full of options um, offered by the seven of cups they are in this king king of swords energy very clear rational um, they have gained some sort of clarity that um, was helpful to overcome this energy they have channeled it with the magician 
and they have granted for themselves some kind of success, which is, I feel, the opportunity to pursue also this combination. Um, the King of Cups, the Lord of the Feelings, um, an energy about someone that has mastered the opportunity to understand um, feelings and love, but sometimes can struggle a little bit with the communication. I feel that this uh, option will be overcome thanks to the very meaningful uh, offer, meaning the chance to uh, talk about this connection represented by the Ace of Pentacles, a new way of doing things also because there is a, a gateway basically that can lead towards uh, new um, landscapes. I love that we get the Ace of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles together. The answers you need are coming, given to us uh, with the opening guidance. They are, um, they are indeed not only in the King of Swords, but also within these two Aces, because they are new beginnings uh, that can um, come from uh, meaningful conversations. So, guys, I will clarify a couple of cards to gain more knowledge about them. Seven of Cups is the first. Let's see this uh, sense of confusion for those that are vibing in the first row of energies. The Hermit, beautiful. Look at this. Um, in order to overcome the struggling energies of what should I pick, which uh, way should I go, what should I pursue, the Hermit energy, beautiful introspection that can be a source of clarity, very aligned with the chance to manifest a King of Swords um, clarity of the mind, speaking your truth, basically, uh, kind of way. The Hermit introspection, also divinely guided. We have divine power with the Magician and the Hermit. Someone has truly um, embraced the chance to uh, enlighten themselves um, gaining some sort of um, higher wisdom that uh, can truly be a source of success. Let's see in the second row of cards the Six of Swords, where this boat is um, going after I feel a um, meaningful conversation has been offered. Full of love, full of um, feelings expressed in a very um, careful way. Knight of Cups, look at this confirmation of the Knight already on the table. So the, the extension of these meaningful conversation, meaningful offer, that some of you uh, can be the ones called to offer, others of you in the reverse will have the chance to receive as truly the chance to move things forward um, with this um, with this connection. This connection has the chance to move forward in a very uh, quiet and um, soft. Soft is the word that is coming to my mind. So uh, it's like uh, you will interact with this um, other individual in a very um, very gentle way, basically. This is a beautiful feeling, <laughs> even uh, a little bit difficult for me to explain in English, but um, I hope that you get uh, the point. Now I'm curious about the, the Ace of Pentacles. I would like to know how things can be uh, organized. Let's see. Strength card. It's like there is a 
there is truly a, a divine energy at play beautiful patience to me in this card also um, a sense of bravery given by the fact that this beautiful lady is interacting with a uh, gorgeous and yet a little bit dangerous uh, lion of course but there is there is again a gentle energy look at how um, how lovely is this lady towards this lion and it is truly the sense that this reading is giving to me there is the the chance to see manifested a connection full of um, uh, that can start as a friendship meaning that um, the two of you can vibe in a very uh, loving and caring way and then the bond uh, uh, gets deeper and deeper and you will have the chance to um, to take it to the next level because of course feelings are here on the table are mutual between the both of you and the the chance to to see manifested this very lovely uh, connection is truly amazing uh, here for you guys and so quite quite a reading for um, the third week of may 2020 for you guys i will leave it at that for now if you resonate leave a comment like share and subscribe to the channel i'll continue on vimeo i'll see you there if you want to join me the link is below and if we part ways guys i hope that this reading was helpful at least to some of you and until next time i wish you all the best take very good care of you and i will talk to you soon bye